Are you kidding me? Sony, are you kidding me with this shit? I mean, let's listen to this, you guys. Listen to this. Sony removing shovelware and easy platinums from the PlayStation Store. Story by John Colson, 18 hours ago. And by the way, I am not happy about this. I'm rather pissed about it. Because, Sony, what you're not considering here is what if a person, you know, wants to play a quick game and they have like, and they got like some money in their PlayStation account, but they don't have enough for like, oh, I don't know, Elden Ring or anything like that. Hmm? Did you ever think about that? Hmm? No? Okay. Well, let's begin. For a lot of people, gaming is all about trophy hunting. True. That might just have become a little bit harder to do on PlayStation as Sony has informed developers it will be implementing stricter guidelines when it comes to cracking down on shovelware and games that appear to have a little more to offer than an easy platinum. Oh, sweet Jimmy Christmas. What the fuck? Again, Sony, it goes right back to what I said earlier. If someone had only if someone wants a quick wants a quick game to play and they don't have enough money for say like Elden Ring or anything like that. Yeah, but they do have enough for like a quick game, then I don't see the problem here. I really don't. Alright, let's let's see let's see. Let's see what this is all about. A document reportedly sent to Dex.exe, oh Jesus Christ, by an anonymous source, has been sent to developers informing them of the new guidelines and actions that will be taken should they be broken. When partners oversaturate or spam PlayStation Store with many variants of the same type of content, it can negatively impact both the customer and the partner experience. Bull crap. The letter reads, PlayStation then lists what they considered what they considered spam or repetitive content moving forward. Oh sweet Jimmy Christmas. So let me get this straight. You're basically saying that people who wanna who wanna play a quick game and have a little fun, basically that's spam or repetitive content. No, it isn't. It's just a bunch of whiny little crybabies who can't get who can't get their head out of their asses for once and realize some people, you know, just want to have a little fun. Yeah. Among products that will now fit that definition are games that are copied and and not meaningful, different from pre existing games on the PlayStation Store. Oh son of a bitch. <sighs> And multiple concepts that have du- that have duplicative functionality that only have minor variances of assets. Oh, just why? Then why have indie games at all? Why have indie dev- Why have indie games on there at all? You know, makes more sen- makes sense to me. PlayStation recommends developers that might be guilty of this ag- of this ag. Aggregate, aggregate, though that might at, be guilty of that. Aggregate those games into a single experience to avoid following foul the new punishments to do so. Oh, God, Sony, what in the, what in the hell are you smoking? What are you high on that's making you do this? Because this is stupid. This is the most pointless, blatant example of everything I've ever said that's wrong with the gaming industry. You need to stop catering to these idi- to these crybaby morons. And you need to start going back to doing it right. As in, you need to stop listening to these idiots... And start putting these games on maybe like physical copies only if if 
if that'll make if that'll make you freaking happy. As for what these new punishments are, the list is a long one. It ultimately depends on the product and whether the developer responsible is a repeat. Oh, sweet Jesus! Whether whether this person is a repeat offender. Oh, Jesus Christ! I swear. I swear to God, these new guy these new guidelines are stupid. These new guidelines suck ass. And these new guidelines can kiss my ass too. Listed among the consequences are restricted are restricted div- discoverability on the PlayStation Store, and having the content delisted from the store entirely. Should the same developer be warned and punished multiple times, it could even result in a suspension of added content or an outright ban. Oh, Jesus! Sony, then why have any indiv- any indiv- indie developers at all? Why have indie de- why have indie developed games? Period. Hmm. Makes no. Make it makes sense to me to actually have them. Jesus Christ! Someone's platinum platinum hall could even look pretty impressive, but on some occasions their trophy collection may very well have been topped up by the type of games PlayStation is now cracking down on. For example, there's currently a game available for the PlayStation Store that requires nothing more than the player pressing X to make an animated pumpkin jump up and down. The jumping pumpkin, yes, that's what it's called, has a full trophy list, in- including a platinum. Oh, sweet Jesus Christ. Again, Sony, this goes right back to exactly what I said a little while ago. You, Sony, you done fuck. You done fucked up. You done fucked it up. You done fucked up. You know you fucked up. And getting rid of getting rid of indie, basically getting rid of what what is indie, what is basically indie developers work. Shame on you. I mean, really, shame on you. You should be ashamed of yourself. And really, so basically, okay. To the to you, Josh Colson, I have this to say: Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. No, really, go fuck your go fuck yourself, asshole. Because basically, you now you're basically saying you want ga- you want ga- you want the PlayStation Store to basically be what Sony wants it to be, where there's no room for indie develop for indie developers to actually for independent developers to actually have a promising career. You gotta be fucking kidding me! So basically, Sony, what the fuck were you high on when you came with this with this answer? You basically want to get rid of shovelware and easy platinums from the PlayStation Store. So what were you? What were you? Th- I hate to use this. Ter- I hate to use this line that the nerd has already used. But what were they thinking? Seriously, what were they thinking? I have no idea. If any of you guys out there have any idea what Sony was thinking, or if they were thinking, let me know, <sighs> guys. I, I just don't know what else to say here except, Sony, get your head out of your ass, stop listening to these crybabies, and listen to someone who knows what he's talking about. You need to stop listening to crybabies. You need to actually allow indie allow indie develop allow indie developed games. 
to be allowed. And seriously, cracking di- and you want to get rid of shovelware and any platinums from the PlayStation Store. Oh, Jesus. Then again, why even have any games on the PlayStation Store at all? Why don't you just get rid of all of them? So guys, what do you think? Just give me your thoughts in the comments below. Do you guys honestly got think Sony fucked up real bad? Or do you guys think or do you think they're just listening to a bunch of crybabies who literally who literally just want everything their way? And Sony should listen to indie developers and actually allow that and actually or should Sony just plain and simply just get rid of everything in the PlayStation store altogether? Just give me your thoughts, what you think. And guys, try to have a happy Thanksgiving and try to and just try to have a happy holidays or whatever. Just please enjoy yourselves, okay?